lot of people are saying that this election, that the rise of Donald Trump was the mishandling uh, by the RNC uh, of, of grassroots voters, uh, whether it was ignoring their pleas, ignoring their candidates, or not following through uh, on, on, on promises, election promises. How much, how much of the hit should the RNC take for what's happening, the, up, the upheaval within the party? Well, the leadership think, of the RNC. the RNC isn't responsible for anything. I mean, the RNC's put on a very fair nominating process. You're watching it happen tonight. They took control of the debates. Remember, there was 23 debates last cycle. It was just a trap. So you don't, think the, uh, you don't think RNC leadership holds any responsibility or, or the more influential voices, whether it's the Mitch McConnells of the world? Oh, well, there's a difference there. I mean, the RNC, the RNC is the party. Sure. The RNC is the infrastructure that puts on the nominating contest and supports the nominee, whomever it is. What would we think... If the RNC itself started to try and get in and call balls and strikes or put their hand on well, the scale. Wouldn't the RNC, though, sort of act the way uh, the commissioner of the NFL? He owns no teams, and yet... At well, the look how popular he is. I mean, that's no, my no, point. He only made $34, you million. Don't want to have only made $34 million dollars last year and got into NFL through some ugly periods, and now it's still the number one sport in America. Why can't the RNC somehow step up with some sort of leadership so that perhaps they don't watch their party? Because, because, because right. elections are about the voters. And so, you know, we have folks that are criticizing the establishment and the <laughs> pointed out, what does that mean? The RNC itself is a very fair actor in this election. They're putting on an election. Now, I do think that if Donald Trump has received 50% of the delegates going into the convention, and so the will of the delegates who get to choose who the nominee is, is not with Donald Trump, then I do think you're going to have to see leadership and say, thank God we have such a strong chairman who's been there six years, who can run the convention, who can understand how the delegate will work. When people hear that, I think that, is when people hear that at home, a lot of Trump followers, uh, supporters, think that that means you're going to steal the election. I mean, Scott, is well, well, you that the case? 50% of the delegates, you're not stealing anything. You're saying, what's the will well, of the If you have 47% and next person had 25%, what legitimate reason would the 25%er have to Well, you allow the delegates to vote. If 54% of the delegates want someone to be president, then that's who's the president's going to be. You're good with that, Scott? I'll, listen, I'll step in. The RNC, the first time I ran, they did nothing. The second time they were all in, and they've done some. I think Reince has done a great job, actually. So they had an epiphany between the first. Yeah, and the listen, they, they learned that the Republican Party is morphing into a different Republican Party, and that's a good thing. Uh, with regard to the uh, convention, I think that's why, if in fact uh, Donald wins pretty handily today, and these guys stay in, uh, there's a there's a reason for that because they want to go to the convention and they want to want to have that convention fight, and that's some of the things get a little crazy. So the key is to just win. <laughs> Maureen, what do you think? <laughs> 